Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 3 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios Playlist. So in this video, we are going to learn how to transform properties of item of an array into column using Mapping Data Flow. So don't get confused. Let's understand the requirement first. So uh, let me explain you the use case. So here you can see this is the input JSON and uh, this is the output that we want after the execution of data flow okay so uh, here in the input json you can see there is some property called email and it has some value then there is a property called question which is an array and inside the array there are two items one is this item okay and then the second one is this one so each of the item is having separate question id this is having another question id similarly this is having some content value um, question content and this is having another co question content and inside the first uh, there is some add, uh, answer value which is also having some content and uh, similarly this is having another content so what we need is we need to transform these properties inside each of the items of array into uh, separate columns okay in our SQL table so you can see email is common between both the items of array so email is one uh, column which is having same value for both the rows now uh, if you see whatever is highlighted in yellow should be uh, coming as our output okay and we will ignore everything else but whatever is not highlighted so you can see uh, there is something called question uh, content so this will become one uh, column in our sql table and and inside this answer property there is another content so uh, this one will become another column okay so why there are two rows because there are two items of the array and which is having similar uh, or common email id so it is having the same value for email id but the question content is different because here you can see name is one question content and the second item of array is having country as another question content so similarly answer content is different for both the items of array here this is the answer answer one and this is answer two so it will become two rows in our sql table okay so this is how uh, we want to have our output okay or uh, in our sql table so how we will achieve this using data flow let's uh, start designing our data flow okay so let me open the adf workspace and let me start creating the data flow okay so i'm creating new data flow here I will add a source transformation and I will provide the data set. I have already created the data set for this JSON which is stored in my ADLS. Okay. So uh, you can see it is stored in as a blob in my uh, storage account and that's what I am pointing to. And if I preview the data, you can see the same content is here. Okay. So now first thing what we need to do is we need to check what is the type of json because in the source transformation in this source option tab if you go down there is something called json setting so here you need to select the document form okay where we need to choose whether your file contains single json or multiple json separated by lines or in array format okay so out of these three uh, options our json if, uh, as i have already shared it is of array format right so we need to select this array of data document if we don't select what happens is when we do the data preview let me do this refresh so now you can see it is giving error say, saying malformed records are detected in schema reference parse mode feel fast okay so to avoid that we need to select the correct json uh, format okay so our json data is of array format okay so now let me preview the data again so it got refreshed and you can see it is having similar content what we have in our source json okay it is having email id and this uh, question array which is having uh, two items right question one and then question two okay and there is another uh, array called polls okay we don't uh, want to deal with this array okay uh, this poll array currently we don't need it so we will only do transformations on this question array okay so so let me go back to the presentation and quickly do a recap 
on uh, the, how the output data should look like so so here you can see there is an additional column called id which is not there uh, as a property in this json okay so we need to introduce this particular column called id okay so we will talk about this later first let's see how we we can achieve these three columns which are present in our json uh, source data okay so you can see email is already present and it is coming in uh, our uh, uh, data preview as well so we don't uh, need to do anything with this one now coming to patient content and answer content okay so um, basically what we want to achieve is nothing but flattening of data so there is something called flattened transformation in data flow so what it does is it takes uh, array as the input here in unrule by option you can see uh, if i hover on this it says uh, choose the array in your data to flatten okay so uh, it takes the array as an input to unroll and then it converts them into individual rows okay so uh, for our requirement we need to convert uh, properties of question array into a separate column and each of the values of that um, property will be coming as individual rows right i have already selected this question array in the unroll by option now here we need to define our columns okay so the first column which is email is uh, perfectly selected now the second and third column let me delete these it, these were the default values now let me add mapping fixed mapping and then we will select what should be our columns so the first column is question content okay so let me select content property from question array okay and what is the name we want to give is qn content okay so let me give this as the column name now let me add another mapping where we need to select answer content okay so let me check the top drop down and here ins inside this answer property there's something called content i selected that it is inside question array itself so it is coming like this now what what is the name we want to give it is answer content okay so let me give e and s uh, content okay content so now let me preview the data so now you can see email question content and answer content are coming as three columns after flattening the data so going to presentation so we can see and the data looks good uh, for these three columns now the only thing we need to do is we need to add this uh, additional column okay so how we do that uh, so the this concept is similar to what we have uh, in sql called uh, identity column so let me just explain you with a simple example in sql uh, there is a concept of identity column what is identity column it is nothing but an auto incremental kind of column for which we don't need to explicitly provide any value okay when we insert rows into the uh, table we don't need to explicitly provide any value for this uh, identity column okay so based on um, seed and increment value it auto generates the data for uh, that particular column okay so let me create this table so it got created where id is an identity column for which we are not going to insert any values so let me first insert one value okay so one row got affected let me uh, let me then select start from table so here you can see uh, because our seed value was 1000 which is the starting value for the uh, identity column so 1000 came as the id value okay now 5 is the increment value so if we insert any other record uh, the next record will uh, have id which will have value uh, 1000 plus 5 okay so 5 is the increment value means by what number this id column will have an increment okay so let me run this and let me show you the data again so here you can see first id was 1000 the second id is 1005 if i insert another row let me give a3 and b3 let me insert it again now if i select you can see so it automatically took id as 1010 which is uh, 5 greater than the previous value okay this is how identity column works now going back to our data flow so what we need to do is we need to add an additional column called id so here we, we can use uh, 
a transformation called surrogate key okay here we need to give the key column so what will be the column name that needs to get generated okay so we need id as the column name and this is a start value which we need to give and then step value which is nothing but increment this is seed and this is increment in in terms of our sql language okay so as uh, we can see in our presentation we need the increment value uh, of one and the seed value which is the starting value is also one so i'm uh, keeping it the default value and let me preview the data so you can see id column got added and it has correct data okay and now uh, the only thing is if we try to upload this into our sync uh, this id column will come as the fourth or last column okay we want it to come as the first column as per our requirement right so we can use uh, something called select transformation okay here if you have any unwanted column you can just simply delete it selecting this or if you want to add some additional column you can uh, create this fixed mapping or rule based mapping so what we want is we want to just uh, change the order of the columns right so let me uh, drag this and keep it here okay so that's it let me do the data preview so it's coming perfectly okay so let me add the sync transformation and select the uh, table from sql okay so here our table should be loaded with the name uh, q a content okay uh, that is not present in my sql but uh, when we run this data uh, flow it will automatically create that table okay so let me create a pipeline okay and just call that data flow and run it so the data flow execution has been completed let's go to the sql and let me hit refresh on the tables okay so this table got uh, created let me see the content of it so uh, it looks good right uh, if we compare with the desired output so id is the first column which got generated with the help of surrogate key transformation then email uh, it has common values for both the rows then q and uh, content which is nothing but question content it is coming perfectly first one is name uh, and the second one is country okay so this is what we needed and answer content it is uh, the first one is anu and the second one is india so it is also coming perfectly so that's it for this uh, video guys i hope you like uh, like the uh, content and uh, please keep supporting this channel and uh, uh, please subscribe if you haven't done it yet okay thanks please stay tuned